Hey everyone, it's Whoopi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. There's not really an intro today, except for that, for this video. So, let's go. It's been a while. I've been a busy, busy gal, booked and busy. But I'm here and I don't really have a structure for this video. I feel like I'm just gonna talk and then see where it leads me sort of vibe. It's just been a crazy couple of months and I take a while to process things so I have a lot to process and I'm still processing but it's crazy like life is crazy. I'm a graduate like officially a graduate. I got my final results this week and I'm graduating next month like me myself and I am gonna be in a cap and gown in July. Wait, it is July. So I guess end of this month. Oh my gosh, probably in September it will hit me because in September I start my master's degree, which is crazy. So my master's course is called Communication, Media Practice and Public Relations, which is a bit of a mouthful, but basically I'll be under a different school in the university. So I won't be in a school of social sciences anymore. I'm gonna be part of the school of culture and communication. But I think this whole thing is just crazy to me because I'm departing from psychology and entering a new realm of academics. And I'm not an academic person. Originally, I thought that I wanted to do a master's in psychology, but as time went on and as my friends kept chatting with me, they helped me realise that it's not actually what I wanted. And that's okay sometimes. If you want to depart from something that you thought was going to be permanent or was going to be your plan, it's okay to leave that and try something new or go on a different path. You know yourself best, so trust your gut. As you saw in the last video, I went to see Conan Gray with my besties and that was a crazy time. I don't know if this counts as TMI because I feel like I'm very open about this, but the day we went to see Conan Gray, I had started my period and I legit sobbed for a good 15 minutes at some point during that concert. And I'm so sorry for the girls in front of me and my friends who had to deal with me because I could not stop. And when I say sobbing, I mean like, sobbing it was an experience to say the least it's just like it was one of those things where you know you can't start silently like streaming a couple tears here and there but they it just became floods and then the sobbing started and it couldn't stop and i wasn't actually embarrassed and my friends weren't embarrassed of me either because they literally predicted that i was gonna cry anyway and they're like now you start your period you're just gonna weep and i was like ha 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 as if no, I played myself because they were correct. That was honestly such a lovely experience and it was a great way to spend time with people I love, doing something I love as well. Oh, another big thing. I went on holiday. Me and my friends did a girls trip. We went on holiday to Mallorca. We stayed specifically in this village called Calador and it was beautiful, it was stunning. My main goal for that holiday was rest in all caps because I've been finding it difficult to just not be still but to let myself rest on all sides of my life. And it was just nice to not have to think or I'd say overthink but I still did that. But it was nice to not be actively thinking of the next thing to worry about and to just focus on letting myself take time off which is really nice and i worked hard for that holiday not only did i work hard on my degree i also worked hard to save that money to budget to get myself on that trip like i worked hard for that so i deserved it it was also a really cute way to say goodbye because that was our last thing together for a while i still have like two and a half months of summer and i guess i'm just still figuring that out and trying to figure myself out which i think everyone does regularly. Honestly, I don't have much else to say. I think I still have a lot of thinking to do, a lot of Love Island catching up to do as well. That was a proper like turn away from what we were talking about, but because we were in Mallorca, 
um, ITV recognise we're in a different country, so we couldn't even watch catch up, which is kind of sad. So I've been catching up this week. I don't really have much else to say right now. I hope you've all been good. I hope your lives have been flourishing and thriving. I realise I just, I don't know if I've looked at the camera that much during this video. I've really been on my thoughts. I'll just end it here and give you a little montage of some photos and vids from my holiday, but thank you for watching this and I hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Um, where's she gone? There she is. Oh. Me in the airport. Ah. Girl, it's been too long. Clock done fell off the wall. Been out here writing songs. Where the hell did the time go? Take on my passions with pain. But would you do the same? I'm going so insane. Thinking about where you and I go. Three years seems like forever when you sit and think about it I put my heart out on my sleeve but I can't live without it Baby, we can't keep melting like gelato Too much time by the pool, back at your condo Sunshine's made fit, chillin', that's the motto Do we really wanna take it there? I screamed, you scream, we can never play it fair Thought you're on my team, don't you ever dare Bitch me cause you know I'm your favorite player If you wanna, we can take it there Summer nights, you're my favorite girl We can face the world, we we'll stay up until the sunrise Sometimes Do we really wanna take it there? I screamed, you scream, we can never play it fair Thought you're on my team, don't you ever